In 2023, ChatGPT dominated 82% of the global AI market, serving 200 million users monthly. Its language models set industry standards, powering businesses, education, and innovation worldwide. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a 3D viral reel for TikTok or Instagram using CapCut. First, let's import the assets. You'll find all the files I'm using in the video description, so feel free to download them and try it yourself. Once imported, just drag them into the timeline. Let's trim the beginning of the clip since we won't be editing that part. To split your video, press B on your keyboard. After that, make sure to switch back to the normal selection tool by pressing A. Next, we'll extract the audio from the video so we can track changes easily as we edit. Once the audio is extracted, go back to the video and recover the original audio for reference purposes. Here you'll see a background with some ChatGPT logos. Let's import that. Just drag it onto the timeline. Now position the logos exactly over the background area to make them blend in. To work faster, select all the elements and scale them down to match the original background dimensions. Now we'll create a compound clip for the ChatGPT logos and the background. To do this, press Alt plus G on your keyboard. This combines them into one editable unit. Let's move to the next scene where we add the in text. Drag in a text element, delete the default text, and type in. If you observe the original reel, the text has a white outline and transparent fill. We'll recreate that. Increase the text size, add a stroke to the text, change the stroke color to white, reduce the stroke's thickness. Now change the text fill color from white to green. This gives us that outline look. Next, we'll remove the green fill to leave only the white outline. Again, press Alt plus G to create a compound clip. Now, go to the chroma key section. Use the color picker to select the green color. Increase the intensity to fully remove the green background. You should now be left with clean white outline text. Now let's move on to the next text, 2023. Drag in the default text again. Extend the clip on the timeline for more room to work. Change the text to 2023, then update the font and adjust the size and position so it fits the scene well. In our reel, you'll notice the 2023 text has a red background behind it. To recreate that effect in CapCut, we need to duplicate the existing 2023 text. Here's how. First, copy and paste the 2023 text layer. Then on the duplicated text, remove the actual text, leaving a blank text box. Add spaces to it until the blank area matches the size of the original 2023. Now scroll down in the settings and enable background color. Choose the red color to match the style of our reference video. By default, the background may appear on top of the text. To fix that, simply drag the background layer below the 2023 text. You may notice that the height of the red background is too much. We only want to reduce the height, not the width. So, scroll to Uniform, Transform, and turn it off. Now you can reduce the height of the background to your preference without affecting the width. We'll mark the end of the first scene, as this is where we'll animate into the next. To mark your timeline, press M on your keyboard. Well, you can rename the marker if you want, but I'll just leave it as default. 